everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I have been missing book tags and writing tags, and so I found a book tag um, that probably I should have done in 2020, but it's fine. <laughs> um, it's called the Stay at Home Book Tag by Princess of Paperback, and um, along with this one, I'm going to try to find another author tube one for Nano. I would like to do a Nano tag about my Nano project, so I have those two coming in the works and maybe a Christmas one. Um, I know they get to be tedious and a lot, so I'm just trying to spread some out to like bolster my videos a bit. So the stay at home book tag has 10 questions, um, laying in bed, the book you could or have read in a day, obviously short books <laughs> like novellas or Brittany Wang serials, um, usually contemporary books because they're shorter or middle grade books. I've definitely done that as well. And when I have CP'd for people and I try to get their book back in a day or two, I've done that for Emily Born by Sabrina Kleckner. This one's coming out in September. When is this book tag? Oh, it might, might be out already. The Art of Running Away is a middle grade book. And it is so stinking cute about um, this little girl's brother uh, having left and gone to London and um, she feels like estranged from him and wants to like get to know him again. So she goes over there um, to help him, to get him to help their family's art store and like all of this stuff. And it's so cute and wholesome and hilarious. So if you're into middle grade, go check out The Art of Running Away. Snacking, guilty pleasure book. This is going to be any of my romance books probably. <laughs> um, my guilty pleasure authors are like Sophie Gonzalez, Becky Albertalli, or Emma Lord right now, and Emily Wiverly and Austin Seekman Broca. Um, those are my favorite authors to just binge. I don't know if that's guilty read. I could say my guilty like if I were to reread, I don't care what y'all say about like Twilight and Hunger Games and like all of that stuff. That's like nostalgia. That would be a guilty read for me, I think. Netflix series you want to start. I don't even know what's on my TBR. There are a lot of series I haven't started yet, especially fantasy series, because um, I kind of go in waves with reading fantasy. Let me see what's on my TBR. Oh, I have had this one on my list for a long time, the Geekerella Once Upon a Con series. Um, that one's been on there, and then I guess this is just a duology right now, but um, Adeline Grace, All the Stars and Teeth, and then her second one. I've heard those are really good. I just, yeah, have <laughs> a ton on my list. <laughs> so, let's see. Deep Clean. Been on your TBR for ages. Hey, the ones I just mentioned. Um, and then if y'all saw my bookshelf little slight tour, um, down here is my current TBR. Um, that's physical copies. And I'm trying to get Daughter of the Pirate King. I'm not sure. I think people liked that one and weren't too keen on Daughter of the Siren Queen. Um, but I did find that at my, like, half price book, so I got it. And, yeah, Winter Song, I've been trying to read that one too, I've heard that one was good. I've just got a lot over here, and a lot of series is that I haven't finished either. Um, like the Three Dark, Four Dark Thrones, Three whatever, Crowns, Two, whatever's like, um, I stopped halfway through that just because I got busy with other stuff. There's just so many books, so many books, guys. Animal Crossing, book you recently bought because of the hype. Um, hype, hype, hype. I don't know. I Like I said, um, my contemporary selection of those authors I said earlier, um, I buy them anyways. Um, I might have bought Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass because of the hype, but I also bought, and I was going to buy this anyway, but Wings of Ebony by um, JL. Um, that one was hyped up pretty good. There, oh, oh, I need to go buy this one. Um, I absolutely adored You Should See Me in a Crown. There's like a lot of books I still would love to put on my shelf. Productivity. Book you learned or had an impact on you? Um, I guess. Would that just be like my writing craft books? Maybe. The ones I enjoyed recently were Creating Character Arcs by um, K.M. Wayland and then I think Story Genius by Lisa Cron. Um... Those were good for brainstorming stuff. If I, I don't know, impact, like a lot of the contemporaries, they're like see into my soul in my high school years. <laughs> and that's kind of why I write too. I want to get that out there because I think it'll have an impact on people or they can relate to it. So whenever I read myself in these books and I'm just like, God, I am so dumb for back then. Like I wish I'd read these books and like connected it. Of course these books weren't out, but still I wish that I'd found books that I could have connected with and been like, 
why am I acting like this? Why am I with this person? Like, why, why, why? Like, change my past, change my ways. <laughs> like, that would have been really helpful for me back then. Um, FaceTime, a book you were gifted. I don't know if this counts, but I want a giveaway of <laughs> author Brittany Wang's arc um, for Wings of Betrayal before I joined her actual arc team. So I got that, like, ahead of other people. Um, and then... Yeah, I don't know if it counts just getting arcs off NetGalley, but <laughs> I love those. <laughs> yeah, I don't know another book, like, that I've been gifted. Usually, I have some on my Christmas list, which Barnes & Noble did their, like, pre-order sale recently, so I went ahead and bought the ones that were on my Christmas list, which is the sequel to What If It's Us, and I cannot wait for that sequel. And then I had read the arc of um, Sophie Gonzalez's if this gets out and that I put on pre-order. Very, very excited for those. So technically I gifted myself, I guess. <laughs> um, Self-care, what is one thing you've done recently to look after yourself? Um, that is just gonna be probably exercise. Um, I try to take at least 30 minutes, uh, five days a week, or the weekends get busy chasing a toddler anyway, but um, I try to take that time for myself to take care of myself and just, of course, drink plenty of water. Um, I've been taking a lot of naps <laughs> lately because I'm so tired growing this baby girl inside me. <laughs> um, so thankfully my husband or like, I've just had time to really watch uh, our son while I take a nap and that's been really nice. Um, bonus name of book coming out soon. You guys, there are so many books coming out soon. Um, a lot of my author friends all have books coming out like in September it feels like but The Art of Running Away by Sabrina Kleckner comes out this September. The Shoddy Setup by Lily Vale I think comes out in September. Um, author Brittany Wang's series is still coming out so we'll get the Dryads release, the Kobolds release, and I don't know if that sixth one will be out in September or will be October. The Secret Gift by Bethany Altazada is a little novella coming out. Oh my gosh, so many books. Those two pre-orders I just mentioned are coming out and I'm very excited. Um, Kyla Pannon has Stalking Shadows coming out and it's like a Beauty and the Beast like total like lit retelling. Like it's about two sisters. Lake's Edge by uh, Lindahl Clipstone. That one's coming out. That one's like so trippy and gothic. Both of those are super gothic and they're having, they had a chat together which was like perfect for them. Um, yeah, all of these, oh my gosh, there's just so many books coming out the rest of this year and so many of them are my author friends and I'm so excited to like squeal for them. Let me know um, what books you're most looking forward to coming out the rest of this year. And if any of those books are like personal friends of yours, we keep joking, we're all in like the llama squad together and we keep joking about having like a full bookshelf of all of our books one day. But yeah, that is the stay at home book tag. Thank y'all so much for watching this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it and let me know if y'all have any different answers down below or what you thought of my answers and I will catch y'all in the next video.